some more breaking inputs as we are learning that after the ATS team arriving in Raigad at that location, we are now learning that the NIA team is also en route to Raigad. Remember, this is a matter of highest uh, security concern. Whether or not there are terror angles involved will have to be ruled out by the highest of security agencies, whether it is the ADS and now the NIA that we are learning is en route to Raigar. For more details, I'm joined in by our correspondent Arunima, who's on the phone line with me. Uh, Arunima, in how much time should we expect the NIA team to arrive in Raigar? tough to say, but uh, the local SOP, the standard operating procedure is that every time there is an internal security threat, any incident which Prime Officer also uh, appears to be an internal security threat, the local NIA team does go on the spot and uh, just, just uh, you know, coordinates with the local investigating agency. If at some point it is uh, take, a call is taken by the state government and by the center that this case will be investigated by NIA, then it comes in handy for the investigating officers to be on ground from, from the moment the case starts unraveling. So that's why this SOP and as part of that standard operating procedure, the local team uh, will be on the spot. Absolutely. Uh, stay with us, uh, Arunima, because I'm also joined in uh, with... Uh, Ar Vinya is on the broadcast as well. Vinya has some very crucial details uh, with us uh, because she heard what the Deputy CM of Maharashtra and the Home Minister, uh, that is Devendra Fadnavis, had to say. Uh, Vinya, the question that now arises is that what was the role of Neptune uh, Maritime Security? Because we know that those boxes have uh, uh, been recovered from the boat. What is the role now uh, of Neptune Maritime Security? Well, as of now, the investigating agencies are still scrutinizing because what we had known was about Oman securities. But as we have seen the stickers of Neptune uh, as well on those boxes, it is now a matter of investigation by uh, primarily the ATS, the NIA, the central agencies, uh, to ascertain what was the role of Neptune. Uh, as of now, what we have known for sure is that uh, this was a privately owned yacht. Uh, there was a privately owned yacht on which there were these two rescue boats uh, which were being used uh, by, uh, you know, the Australian couple, an Australian woman uh, on whose name the yacht was and uh, the, her husband, who was the captain of that uh, vessel. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that yacht was capsizing because of which the rescue uh, call was given, a distress call was given. Uh, as we speak, let me also tell you that Devendra Fadnavis is approaching on the media stand to speak about the very same issue. He had just assembly and he is now to the media starting any minute now giving out details about uh, what exactly has been found out with respect uh, to these boats uh, that have been found on the Raigad coast at Sri Vardhan. Uh, so we expect that Devendra Fadnavis will uh, reiterate this information and answer all questions uh, from here, uh, and answer all questions from here about uh, what exactly are the details uh, right. that are still missing on the issue. Absolutely, Vinaya. Of course, uh, as you rightly pointed out, that this is an ongoing investigation. Uh, the highest of the agencies are also looking into it, which, of course, seems.